It's always good to learn new terms and the term we want to learn today is muta. Muta means false marriage, temporary marriage. It is basically a marriage which is incompatible or a marriage which is uh, baseless. So why I'm saying this is because there's a baseless marriage between Darwinism and scientific advancement. So we have this type of rhetoric that you get in popular newspapers, that you get in popular documentaries, that you get in these sort of things. Oh, you know, if you don't accept Darwinism or if Darwinism is not accepted in certain parts of the Muslim world or Darwinism is not accepted in, you know, Christian America, then there'll be scientific regression and people will be backwards and so on and so forth. This is actually totally nonsense. It's totally nonsense. And the reason why it's totally nonsense is because there was scientific advancement before Darwin. So the idea that if people don't accept Darwinism as being true, literally, which we have loads of reasons not to believe that's true anyway, is going to lead to a regression in science is nonsense because we had scientific advancements before Darwin. And in fact, Darwin was living in a time in which there was a lot of scientific advancements. So this whole idea of if you don't accept human chimpanzees, or you don't accept the tree of life, or you don't accept natural selection, led the, the monad to the man, you are, you know, scientifically taking the world backwards. That's total nonsense. Secondly, Another reason why this is nonsense is because what does Darwinism teach you about science fundamentally? What does it teach you about mathematics or logic or philosophy or poetry or art? It teaches you all of these things fundamentally are either due to your survival and reproduction or a maladaptive, um, something which is a maladaptive product of that. So essentially, if you're a Darwinist, you shouldn't really care about scientific advancement unless that leads you to having greater survival and reproductive value. Now, some of the Darwinists are going to say, of course, that's what science is all about. That's total nonsense. Science and scientists is not just about enhancing human reproductivity and enhancing our survival. That's part of it. So, okay, grant you that. We'll give you that as roadkill. Fine, you can have that. You can have that little part of science. What about the science? What about the part of science that has nothing to do with survival and reproduction? What about the part of science which is actually the essence of science, which is learning for the sake of learning? Not learning for the sake of your survival and reproduction, but learning for the sake of learning. So you'll have a professor, say, who's way past an age that he can basically get aroused and, and have children. He's way past that age. Right. And, you know, he hasn't got that sort of Darwinian motive. He'll still spend his life, the rest of his life, you know, searching into the cosmos, coming up with different theories, going around talking about science. That's learning for the sake of learning. That's learning and, and promoting science and scientific advancement for another greater purpose, not to do with survival and reproduction. And so that part of science, Darwinists actually can't claim. So this whole false notion that, oh, if we don't follow science, I mean, if we don't follow Darwinism, we're somehow going to fall back into caveman times and, uh, you know, paint our faces blue and throw spears at each other. It's total nonsense. In fact, if we truly were Darwinists, if we truly did actually just want to focus on survival and reproduction, we wouldn't be learning anything about the natural world unless it helped us with our survival and reproductive value. But as we know, that's not, the, that's not the main reason why scientists do what they do. They do what they do because they want to learn something about the world and they want to get to know the unknown. Look at Isaac Newton. From a Darwinian point of view, how are you going to explain this guy? He thought it was a great thing that he died a virgin. He thought it was a great thing that he was doing what he was doing, but he never had any children. How do you explain that from a Darwinian point of view? You don't actually have an explanation. So scientific advancement is not based upon somebody accepting Darwinism. It is actually based upon a emotion, a drive, a, a, a desire to discover, which is actually fundamentally non-Darwinian.